involved involved I'm not gonna get into it involved both this isn't about this this is about my completing this kind of stuff and I'm gonna do this so that somebody's not gonna say that I wrote about that stuff or I did not wrote about this stuff yeah it's video recorded also stuff I went even wrong in the video but 100 even in this video I went wrong about uh, William J Burns this is not the video about the William J Burns anymore only uh, it touches him because because of his shit career he did at Central Intelligence Agency he tried to get me killed for since 98 on black and white paper I mentioned about the paperwork he signed I mentioned about paperwork Central Intelligence Agency signed with the Slovenian side right there what kind of paperwork is it? what kind of paperwork is that? in 96 um, American side and um, uh, Slovenian side promise is going to behave nicely to American side in front of me and even what it appealed to me to be wonderful thing it was Loise Petrla in our house Janas Janša next to Milan Kuchan amazing because just a few years earlier there was independence and all along these people couldn't see one another but it was exactly Milan Kuchan, Borut Pahor Danilo Turk, Janas Dernoshek that used used Janas Janša and Loise Petrle to strike the deal with the American side literally in writing when it comes to home for elderly people yeah this was interesting because it was not restricted to one issue but it was expanded to a number of other issues locations which uh, for which I was told to feel good about because they're gonna put them in writing they're going to put them in writing. So it was our home, it was home for elderly people, and it was other locations that they performed torture on me. They placed them literally with American side in writing. So uh, I was told by Central Intelligence Agency, obviously with the CIA did this, that there might be still a paperwork uh, somewhere. Uh, I know that Slovenian side, American side got signatures from Slovenian side on, on a piece of paper. Uh, however, this mm, signatures and in writing that went on it did not continue after I think like 1997. They were just adding the issues to it. <clears throat> and uh, because Slovenian side either 97 or even maybe already in 96 and the whole thing started in 95 as I immigrated to the States in 95 and I was hijacked by CIA by Central Intelligence Agency FBI back to Slovenia where they you know from where they redistributed me to other locations uh, and or straight to Poland and or straight to Russia and so on uh, Soviet Union no longer existed as you know uh, it, it was all about the free world so the papers I'm talking about it's a firm memory on these papers this motherfuckers from Central Intelligence Agency or Federal Bureau of Investigations uh, never disclosed any of this uh, I'm not gonna say they will not but this scum this field did not work on anything other than to get me killed for the past 53 years 
But this video is not even about uh, William J. Burns, who signed exclusive rights to become my case manager in 1998. A funny motherfucker when I consider that he came up with a similar proposition in 2002 so that he repeated like that uh, you know like who would be in charge who would take it from there no 1998 he already signed exclusively with essential intelligence agency with the fbi will be my case manager waiting on this scum to release any documents would only result in this case being completely lost this is what they work. This case is by far too far extreme for American Constitution, for American Bill of Rights, which are nothing other than decoration. I don't recognize them as valid. Uh, they were used literally to perform torture, abuse. And it's like something like American state official visits that have nothing to do with reality. It's like uh, in you know somebody let's say visited some country some president it's not about it's like a presidential protocol it doesn't apply only to the US that uh, you know you would read in the media if you would go over some politician it would be written you know he visited country in years such and such and then again five years later or ten years later or whatever uh, the truth is these people like Ronald Reagan and that's what this video is gonna be about Ronald Reagan ran entire underground uh, in uh, New York State. Uh, in let me demonstrate to you what kind of underground he ran the entire Central Intelligence Agency FBI underground in a New York area. What you read about in a Wikipedia and stuff. This has nothing, this has very, very little to do with reality. This is what, what he will be posing, like, officially and stuff like this. The truth is, however, nobody really knows what goes behind the doors of these politicians. At least that's the way it was. These politicians had totally free hands to engage in next to, uh, next to presidential uh, operations. They, they engaged in... In a full-scale background talks, background negotiations, travel to Moscow all the time. Uh, no, Ronald Reagan did not travel to Moscow so much. Uh, he was really a central intelligence agency, CIA, together with the Richard Nixon. Uh, before he would become a president, Ronald Reagan ran entire underground, police underground in, in a New York state, in a New York area. Ronald Reagan became president in 81. Forget about uh, Richard Nixon, the same thing, the same thing. This is all Bronx. All this stuff, it's all Bronx. This is all related to um, Queens, Bronx. This has nothing to do with the California. Nothing to do with the California. This has nothing to do with the California. In California, he was doing a uh, job as a governor, as officially, you know. But before he would become president in the United States of America, uh, president of the United States of America, he became completely, completely familiarized with, with the New York. Totally, totally. It was like his pocket, like his home. Uh, they don't. They don't just deliver people from Los Angeles and they, they throw them in there to be a president and stuff like that. That doesn't work like this, you know. This only works on. Uh, if you read the resume on him uh, through the Wikipedia and so on, but this is not the resume of. This is not a resume from. Uh, 
This is not a real resume from Ronald Reagan. It had nothing to do with reality. It was the same thing, the totally identical thing with the Richard Nixon. The same thing. But this here that you see here, New York, Washington, D.C., this, whenever I was delivered to the United States of America, not whenever, but the beginning H1, when I was delivered to the United States of America, uh, beginning, I'm going to say, when it comes to Bronx, when it comes to Queens, when it comes to violence in Baltimore, uh, this started when I was probably two years old. When I was two years old, I found myself in the courts of Queens, Bronx, drugged up as a child, and basically munching to myself whatever the fuck went on. Um, I did a good job explaining about what this looks like. As a child, it looks even worse. Uh, my career at Bronx and at Queens started when I was two years old, not even two and a half. MK Ultra career. In MK Ultra, the people MK Ultra, you are as old or of age as much as you are big and strong. If you can sustain uh, whatever injuries they do to you, whatever, whatever, um, whatever you are required. Uh, in the same way as a child that is five years old or six years old and you're just two years old, that's just too bad for you. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares during MKUltra. This is the most brutal, the sharkest, the shark world of the shark. There's nothing like MKUltra. Uh, and if you're six years old or seven years old and your biggest 10 or 11 years old, um, is just too bad because that's how you're going to be seen that's how you're going to be treated and if you're six or seven years old and you're dumped somewhere in africa where you have uh you they have a pygmy people uh, smaller race people uh, you can get killed you can easily get killed through exhaustion through basically physical uh stuff they'll do to you that if you cannot undergo a pressure a hiking a terror you're dead you you if you just fall dead because your little body cannot handle it it's just too fucking bad that's mk ultra you understand at two years of age bronx queens baltimore all over the place it all started with the queens and bronx uh, the man who was totally into this stuff and who introduced Ronald Reagan into this underground world was really Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon was the main cat. This was my main manager. This was my main man in the United States of America. That was Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. Let me demonstrate you something about Richard Nixon. Vietnam War ended in 1975 because these motherfuckers from Central Intelligence Agency and Federal Bureau Investigation that worked on getting me killed for no less than 52 years now will never release any of this, but you do have the right to know and you should know. Uh, Richard Nixon refused even in 1975 to stop the war that a Yugoslav police, a Serbs, a Yugoslav police, maybe Slovenian police, maybe who knows, maybe they were lucky enough to participate. Uh, deliveries, my deliveries to a New York, to a Washington DC, literally to the White House. Uh, if they did, if the Slovenian side did so, they might have even recordings of my demanding from Richard Nixon to not stop the war in Vietnam. I was born barely on December of 1971. That's closer to 1972 uh, than 1971. 
Uh, so the war was stopped when I was about three years of age and I would not want even the war to stop when I was at three years of age because of MK Ultra violence that went on against me. I was a baby that was programmed uh, to basically it's not religiously stand up uh, for whatever United States of America uh, had on a plate for it against uh, Soviets against the Russia not even Soviets is against Russia it became so evident that Russia was the one that was doing this stuff uh, anything that the Russia would or do and so on support and this and that for me it was just a no-no uh, religion is one thing faith is one thing but the way of life something that you didn't even question that is like natural to you that was me so maybe it's a little bit hard to understand this but this is what I am coming from these are my beginnings this is where I am coming from violence at Queens violence at Bronx at age two maybe even maybe even one year and a half maybe maybe I was even one year and a half old when Queens and Bronx maybe I was one year and a half for that matter you would have to have recordings from Richard Nixon who ran this underground you know so Ronald Reagan became introduced to a New York underground crime sometimes in probably he was late he was finally introduced he would travel from California to um, basically Washington DC or New York City if you like what is it 200 miles away something like that as it said here in the map uh, is this in mile mileage or kilometers it says here 225 miles um, he introduced he barely introduced his friend his dear friend into into the world of of Bronx and probably I was even one year and a half old I was probably I am 100% I was about one and a half year old something something incredibly disgusting incredibly disgusting uh, and the blacks acknowledge me as a baby that comes to fuck with them basically that that is which probably I would I don't know how myself I would react to it <clears throat> I don't know if you have a baby that uh, you know uh, they had a rough history in the United States there was this civil rights movement that was totally legitimate that was based on denial of uh, basic rights of these black people in the States uh, and I don't bloody know man uh, it grew up from pain and suffering and all of a sudden you see this white baby let's say pop up in front of you and uh, is this baby is out there you might even know that he is a stink that he is used to you know as a stink um, if I have a good opinion about this shit, you know, uh, you know, the baby is not even from United States. He is from somewhere from Europe. In fact, from some socialist country such as Yugoslavia, and uh, he somehow survives thanks to this CIA people and FBI people that are watching in the background. You cannot even pop him up. Uh, he, you know, doesn't know what the fuck goes on. Probably this is weird stuff that might have made people even wilder. I don't know. I remember black people. They were, they were, they, they were disturbed with this stuff, which is a really normal thing to feel about this stuff being disturbed. Um, I remember black people saying don't even know what the fuck to do with you and stuff like this what you know this stuff 
uh, but it was a lot of violence and it was a major success for Richard Nixon who was I don't know man he was either obsessed with this shit with with I don't know was he obsessed with uh, making a stink uh, against these black civil rights movements that they wanted to do or was it uh, is, is it became to me apparent because Josip Brostito at one point in time started to get angry with the black people even uh, that I was used to convince him because he was the one Josip Brostito was the one that borrowed me to the CIA to the FBI I uh, was used to convince him that uh, the black people in the States are up to no good uh, or was it used to um, you know use me as a somebody from Eastern Bloc to get uh, support from Eastern Bloc against the black people I think it was all of the above it's very difficult to tell what the fuck went on but this is like brutal rea reality as it gets, you know. Ronald Reagan, friend Ronald Reagan, uh, was just a friend when he was a governor in in California. As a matter of fact, let me see something else here. Let me see something else here under the the resume of Ronald Reagan. Uh, I'm not even sure if he was a governor. Wait a minute, he was a government in 1967, he became. And uh, I was thinking about, uh, okay, so in 1975 till the 1975 as a governor, I was, I was partially correct about something right now I thought about. Um, I, I don't want to go and read over right now this stuff. I have so much other stuff to do, uh, complete, and I'm going to... I'm gonna read if I'm gonna have to say anything about more about this stuff I'm gonna go over and I might leave you more about this stuff as I go over this stuff but he referred to him as a then talking about the Richard Nixon he referred to him as a uh, something he 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 wasn't absolutely positive with me back then about uh, he talked about something that, that he was a governor and this and that and stuff like this that, you know president of the state a governor over there in California but he did not uh, it wasn't about he was about it was about uh, that, uh, to me it made me feel like like that he became a governor and it appears here that in 1975 that uh, he no longer was a governor you know, in 1975, he 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 stopped the governorship, and I I would have to see what the fuck went on with with him between 75. His advisor plan on run and la 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 69 whatever killed many police officers la 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 April. Uh, uh 70 remaining critical government 72 um california experiment nixon then fire regulation and shepherd california's experiment and whatever, whatever blah, 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 blah. 70 what is this year was on uh, and reports the experimental experiment that ran from 1971 to 1974 oh, oh, oh. you see uh, what the fuck is this year about experiments 1971 to 1974? Uh, according to the Central Intelligence Agency and FBI, I was told they will never admit the only thing that's going to pertain to me is going to be this thing here. Um, I was born on December 71, so I don't know what exactly the meme 71 and 74 is that just something they manipulated as far as documentation or <clears throat> to remind me of something like that? I don't know. This is not the way you do investigation. I would have to go read over. I just need to. Uh, I just need to learn about this stuff. In 1975, exactly, is what Nixon stated that his friend. I got it all fucking wrong. Now I I get it. Now I know what happened. Uh, it was that Nixon stated. Um, like uh, that 
his governorship of our friend Ronald Reagan now ended and we will have more time to spend together. He will come more often to New York, to Washington, D.C. So, you know what I mean? So when I stated to you about Ronald Reagan uh, running on the ground with Richard Nixon, yes, since 1975, he was visiting Washington, D.C. He was visiting, uh, visiting New York and stuff like this, Ronald Reagan, but very seldomly till 1975. But since 1975, he became part of that. Richard Nixon is New York, Queens, Bronx, stink on the ground, police on the ground. Richard Nixon was somebody that worked literally with microphones in his ears next to the police officers uh, and other obviously CIA and FBI operatives during my stay at Bronx, Queens uh, and they would move me back and forth to those buildings meeting black people and so on. So probably not likely but black people could have some photos that would blow your mind of the white baby like this somewhere even sitting jocked up and uh, being simply um, harassed, intimidated. That was me, that, that baby was me, that was I. Okay, so um, that's, that's me and I think I am certain Two year, year, age of two, this was this in my terms, but it all started at three months. Must have been at least one year and a half of age when it started in the United States of America. And that stuff, that means that it started in 1970, 1972 or 1970. In 1970, either 1972 or 1973 it's got to be a paperwork it might be in off the record might be non-official but there must be a records and you're not talking about the records only of you're talking about the fucking audio recorded records all that shit was audio recorded you better believe it when the presidents are doing these things and stuff like this Don't even dream about saying to me that you don't have the audio recordings and stuff like that because I was told that's the only thing you're gonna have or oh, whatever if By it would be by will of FBI and Central Intelligence Agency. I wouldn't even have that this isn't because I Started this video. I did not even read the resume about Ronald Reagan just as I didn't about this guy about this uh, this um, William J. Burns. Um, so on my videos I suggested something about how Ronald Reagan became president in 1981 and it was all kinds of stuff that went on inside of the New York. That's a bullshit. That's just how can I say, Richard Nixon, this was my American father. This is like me from having literally like a father in the United States of America. I was not close to anybody like Richard Nixon. This was like having my father in the United States of America. And honestly, I don't understand how a human being can be so cruel, evil, as to what applied to Richard Nixon. So irresponsible, bear no fucking responsibility. How he shed the skin is, this is, for me personally, this is just, it's impossible to understand. I don't think I would be capable to do some child, whatever child, that if the child grew up next to me, practically from one year of age, I don't think I would be capable to, you know, to do stuff like this to him. Definitely, absolutely, uh, 
at least I would be his godfather. At least I would make sure that he would get away, escape. Uh, and, you know, I would absolutely do whatever the fuck it takes to save one. And by God that it would not go past age five when I would get him the fuck out of the system, whatever system they were doing stuff to him. That I would make one disappear, boy, and make sure that he's got something out of his life. I mean, and if it was a, uh, a politically perspective stuff, uh, I do make sure that when I see that he's got uh, such a problems in the school that they are destroying him, I don't make one disappear for sure. Like the stuff they were doing to me. The thing is that these are government people and the government people, the way they, um, the way they view people as, they were like a cattle, basically. Uh, these are the people that would frequently go inside of the psychiatric hospitals to get the glimpse on reality. As you can see, all kinds of people. You can also see people that, completely normal people that could have, in fact, maybe even successful families and stuff like that. This is what life is not all about, you know. Life is about... Uh, getting its best out of the cattle, out of the human cattle. This is the way they view this in the United States. That's how this operates. It's not, it's not any different from Russia. It's not any different from what Soviet Union used to be. It was blah, blah. It was a lot of propaganda against the Soviet Union. La, 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 la. And Soviet Union was as evil as fuck because they wanted to climb in the pants of uh, Washington DC in my opinion the way I see this when I think about this violence they work together and I'm not gonna exclude that they don't work together today because they work together also today they absolutely do now, we just don't know to what stage exactly this war in Ukraine is going to develop now, but regardless of it regardless of the war they still work together their diplomacy in the background still operates they still work they still meet they still talk on the side completely off the cameras they still travel to the russia no worries about it and russians still travel to united states uh in new york was a cesspool of this interactions between the so-called united nations you know this uh Sergei Lauro and this United Nations and this and that, you know, when I told you about this stuff, this is so factual that can't be more factual. I told you what Central Intelligence Agency, FBI, never would disclose you any of this stuff. The Richard Nixon's voice, this is just part of me because he had such a specific voice. <laughs> he had a voice like I would you would watch some kind of an old American movie like those black and white movies people used to talk like Richard Nixon back then in the day some people at least and you know he had this classic the way he uh, dressed himself and his hairdress and so on um, I don't know he was he was just into the things he just uh, he was just doing this kind of stuff and um, I think Richard Nixon started to do stuff <clears throat> maybe even to appease the Soviets bad stuff I'm talking about the bad stuff to me um, I think he tried different techniques just as it's written right there under the experiment it started with the Bronx with with uh, Queens exactly in the most violent way possible uh, I don't know if it ended in 1974 that's a subject to discussion uh, I don't think it ended at all in 1974 uh, this stuff went on but I think that the nature of the crime did change its purpose because I think there were tests, I think that he tested, I think that he wanted to test the waters to see how, with the feedback he would get from others, from other presidents, uh, leaders, uh, 
officials, Kremlin basically, Belgrade from overseas, uh, Beijing finally, uh, Delhi, India, and um, you know it just didn't it just didn't yield him something that might have been maybe he searched maybe even for like a broad mass of support against um, against black people in the United States of America you know um, as far as the Vietnam uh, Richard Nixon was under unbearable pressure he was under unbearable pressure as far as Vietnam uh, Richard Nixon was facing enormous dilemmas as far as Vietnam and would not want to end the Vietnam and what he did was he was way overdue when it comes to Vietnam uh, he that's why I think this guy was up to no fucking good because when I think about Vietnam itself uh, this is like a curse it was like a first major curse for him, the way he viewed me, he was he viewed me as a success. They viewed me always as a success. But what kind of success was this, really? On a long term, I was a baby. In 1970, in 1975, uh, I was just uh, four years old, you know? Uh, and not even four years old, four years old. And uh, it's a success if you're a president and you are to survive on, as a president, you know, as a president doesn't count what you do today, you know. Uh, as a president, it counts what you did yesterday and or five and ten years ago, whatever. And even more that it counts as a president is how you're going to look as a presidential, as a historical figure, because you're president of the United States of America. So what they did was, what the Richard Nixon did is, what they did is, they created like a super, super, super villain, you know, British royals, uh, Queen Elizabeth. Uh, they needed somebody that is going to be a super fucking villain and basically is going to be guilty for everything in this world. And that would actually even allows them to shift the politic from colonial, from the colonialistic colonialism uh, into um, into friendship, into the new type of bond with the otherwise oppressed black minority in the U.S. and African countries throughout the Africa. You know what I mean? And so, and Asia, let's say Vietnam or whatever, where you know the war raged. And so, what they did was they used me to literally. Uh, I, you know, I'm sure that when I when I went against uh, ending the war in Vietnam, there must have been some uncle, something with a torture that they urged, assisted me a little bit in making the decisions. You know, uh, all through I was programmed uh, as any immune system would dictate anyone under circumstances I faced to just like on impulse see myself on American side, the German side, the British side uh, without even asking whatever the fuck the policy was suggested even if the policy would be, I don't know what the policy would be, I would just uh, yes, yes, good uh, just as long as I could fuck the Russia uh, Belgrade, in Moscow I would do, I would do anything in this world absolutely anything in this world basically this is the way it was this is the way this is the way it was and so indifferent was with the vietnam and that's how richard nixon uh you know when i when i suggested earlier about uh queens and bronx stings that he was doing uh, absolutely uh, <laughs> if somebody would dare to say they don't have the recordings about that uh, he absolutely has a recording about me uh, declining to accept his uh, end of war in the Vietnam. Yeah. Because he used me for that purpose. Uh, he basically, historically looking, 
you know, the historians who was this super villain, you know, who did, you know, all kinds of stuff and so on, and uh, presidents uh, around the world just somehow acted, uh, even make the war decisions based on his requests and so on and this and that. So uh, that villain, I guess, that was me. I had to do with operations, with the colonial operations, literally, at no wonder, by British throughout Africa, throughout Asia, uh, British and French. Uh, many of these colonies were people even still remember some kind of baby uh, running around, whatever. Uh, South America, yeah, South America, not only Caribbean, but also South America, Central America. Uh, you know, that baby is me. And so and no wonder that presidents and British royals uh, and French and Germans and whatever it was that they had to shift their economies from colonialism uh, or even a neo-Nazi past into a new free enterprise society, a new world order, a world where we'll all be friends. Um, and no wonder that I was borrowed and used by every one of these figures. Now, it wasn't for free. Josip Broz Tito charged good for that stuff. And the Russians did too. Um, in Yugoslavia, no longer was about just having a vehicle, a car, which was, I think, incredible development stage that Yugoslavia entered, be offering people cars, personal transportation vehicles from a, such a poverty as it was. Uh, in Serbia, literacy was impossible to say. Uh, still, even before the World War II ended, it was it was horrific the way it was. Uh, its literacy of the Serbs finally started to pick up with the Kingdom of SHS somehow. But this was a power. This was a total poverty, illiterate, and the war torn apart country and. Uh, um, All of a sudden, it wasn't about anymore growing potato and uh, catching fish and uh, eating, uh, I don't know, cattle, uh, building itself, roofs over, over the head, uh, houses, uh, decent even houses. Uh, now, it was in a completely different phase, Yugoslavia, uh, where the cars started to manufacture, to be manufactured on on a roll, on example of the West with a British rover here, uh, or whatever the hell that is, Mini Morris, whatever. Uh, um, French Renault and Citroën and in Sarajevo with the Volkswagen and so this started to get into the into the gear, the machinery they got, and militarily advancing itself uh, into into totally totally different uh, consumer goods society, materialistic society that was more, I think. I think it was much much more materialistic than the one in the United States. If I think that, you know, to own the camera was a, such a big thing. Uh, and uh, uh, it was the way to get this Western goodies through Italy, through Austria, where Slovenia has a border. And uh, but the thing is that this this good is this crazy good is like from Japan, Casio and Seiko. My God, they were fucking coming to Slovenia for less than in Austria or uh, 
uh, what the fuck they were saying that they are smuggling watches Seiko and stuff like this from uh, from Germany and stuff like this bullshit man uh, Japanese uh, had a whole a lot to do with it coming directly here to Slovenia to Novo Mesto uh, the society anyhow the society the machinery heavy machinery and stuff like this uh, it was a total different game that started to play in Yugoslavia with this case as he opened. It was about getting more and more and more, basically, unsettable appetite settled in the people, materialism, based on which people fucking kill you to get their goodies. Uh, really, 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 uh, the animal inside of the human was awoke, you know. Animals have an appetite to, you know, to kill animals, to to grow big, you know, to eat good, to have a full stomach and so on, uh, to make good and so on. But in a human beings, the animal awakes when you offer them uh, a goodies. Uh, no longer about the washing machines and improvements and stuff like this even you know it was about it was about fucking greed you know you could hear my parents talking about i have a washing machine with the name i don't know what kind of name then i have another washing machine with i don't know what kind of name and really those old washing machines were really tearing apart clothing and stuff like that my machine never does this and this and that where is your machine from and this you know this is the way the hell and the same thing was with the cars and everything. And then what watch is better? Is it Seiko or Casio and so on? You know, crazy stuff. This is basically the way it was. Uh, FBI, Central Intelligence Agency, never had any intention to tell any of this stuff. If they had, they would not drag this stuff like this. They wouldn't go and do the stuff like this. They embedded me in absolutely every fucking crime throughout the United States of America, I think, that took place. I was in every prison meeting all kinds of serial killers and all kinds of stuff, video recorded, audio recorded by Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau Investigation. The same shit went on with some other famous uh, all kinds of stuff around the world. Uh, some of which did not even exist elsewhere than on the paper. Uh, they even invented this stuff so that they could have me uh, pose next to the people. I'm certain that there was some stuff that that I sincerely doubt about, but on a paper uh, it sounds like totally, totally horrific when you consider that something like this would exist, and I know it didn't, some involved the cannibalism stuff and so on, stupid stuff. Uh, this is the reality and the real stuff that went on, he never found any way on any paper, he didn't found any fucking way in any place or documentary even or anything like this, you know, that went on and it just went on unreported. All kinds of stuff went on, uh, Richard Nixon, this, this was practically, Richard Nixon was the first one I started to hate. I, boy, I started to hate him at one point. Uh, he did few bad things to me when they shifted this American politic, this, uh, white power politic, uh, evident to absolutely, you know, uh, based on failure politic due to this civil rights movement that started throughout the United States. When I consider all this stuff, uh, yeah, I mean, my attitude toward all this, towards everyone was totally justified, totally appropriate. Uh, many dreamed about my apologizing to people for whatever the thing is I ain't got nobody to apologize for anything if I was to make decisions even today uh, as a grown-up man I when I consider myself uh, as a child as a baby 
even from American perspective today as a as an American uh, as a, not necessary as an American or just let's say someone from this world uh, I would do exactly what I stated would do as a baby when it came to Bronx when it came to Baltimore when it came to Queens uh, I would summon US Marines I would pull the police off the streets when you would have this cash for lynching type of ceremonies uh, which involved vandalizing which involved also causing people damage deliberately uh, looting stores and stuff like that the only thing I would do is I do fucking call Marines inside uh, first the police to stop it and if this kind of stuff would spread on a broader area I would just simply uh, throw US Marines inside not necessary even as a president but as a general or whatever and would have them handle uh, through Central Intelligence Agency domestic terrorist act against each and every one of these protesters uh, summon them at the FEMA camps where I would have these people transported them and their families if necessary uh, interrogate them and charge them with a domestic and foreign act uh, simply because of the Russian connection because of the Moscow that was behind all this stuff connected to this black civil rights movements in uh, up in New York uh, Bronx Baltimore uh, incited them literally in a lynching for cash uh, in some kind of fables about uh, evil neo-nazis and I know what I had absolutely nothing to do with it as far as myself I was exactly what I was and according to the US Constitution or any laws internationally where you go to United Nations smuggling drugging up people torturing people these are the prohibited things uh, what the Richard Nixon did is rape of American Constitution rape of American Bill of Rights rape of everything that America ever stood for uh, and was using already since a baby since the earliest childhood somebody uh, like the weakest person to whom everything in life is going to be denied so the stuff like this could go on he used me literally to uh, to create some kind of trust between the black community and uh, what rightfully by black community was seen and should be seen as a uh, uh, as a, some sort of apartheid regime in the United States which was still dominating the society and it, of course I had nothing to do with it you know what I mean so based on these charges I'm gonna charge United States of America uh, for extermination procedure genocide against me since uh, like the earliest childhood truly truly disturbing uh, reasonable when I consider to see why United States of America was so <clears throat> malicious about this, so treacherous, so backstabbing, so uh, you know, acting so ignorant, acting so uh, you know, like awkward, like he didn't know and wanted to help but didn't know how. Yeah, you motherfuckers knew about how, what, you know. You're just like this, you're backstabbers, you're just a nation like this that you do this from behind uh you murder like these people from behind and this is the way you this is the way it is this is the way you progress this is the way you finally you were built it's your conscience your human conscience that's the way it works so it's completely understandable to me um no apology ever from me to anyone in the United States of America everything I have stated is exactly what I would do the last thing I would do is 
I would stop with the limousine in front of the White House and I would grab Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan together, pin them against the floor, handcuff them, throw them in the back of the car and take them to the FEMA camp for the military trial upon which the two probably would be even executed as the rest of this whatever you want to call them from Bronx Queens Baltimore that went on and supported Russia uh, in extermination procedure in genocide against me and what was interpreted to me as a terror that I have to tolerate or it would spread onto even bigger greater level uh, something, in fact, American presidencies, U.S. Congress demanded from me to acknowledge is the case unsolvable due to, if they would try to resolve this case, would become even of a greater unrest in the country and stuff like this. Something that I was told by American politicians and what Moscow started finally might be even believe that it would cause even a nuclear war if they would try to resolve. You understand? You are a fucking scum that is in bed with the Moscow even today in 2024. I don't know how this is going to resolve in Moscow with Russia now in Ukraine. Uh, I don't think uh, that uh, so far, even if you had a nuclear drills and stuff like this, that you have resolved much of the questions when it comes to Ukraine which lost enormous, despite your great support, which is greater on the paper than it was in a real time. Uh, I don't even think that uh, you're going to resolve this at a satisfaction of Ukraine, of the people of Ukraine. Uh, we yet have to see, and Ukraine lost a quarter of the country uh, already uh, beginning the 2014. Very little is being done about it. It was help. And I'm not saying this got nothing to do with my case. Uh, it might eventually end up that Ukraine is going to liberate itself from this Moscow uh, hug of death. Uh, but the thing about when it comes to United States of America, you are going to be judged accordingly to what I stated here in this video. You know? Hallelujah.